Let's start by assuming that the cross product of vectors a and b is equal to vector x. Therefore, the left hand side of the above equation is equal to the vector triple product x cross c cross d. This is equal to x dot d times the vector c minus x dot c times the vector d. Let's call this result 1. Now we evaluate the dot product x dot d, substituting the value of x which is a cross b. This is equal to a cross b dot vector d. This is equal to the scalar triple product a dot b cross d. Similarly, the scalar dot product x dot c is equal to a cross b dot c which is equal to the scalar triple product a dot b cross c. Substituting the values of x dot d and x dot c in result 1 obtained above, the left hand side of the given equation becomes in brackets a dot b cross d times the vector c minus a dot b cross c times the vector d which is equal to the right hand side of the expression given in the problem statement which completes the proof.